Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's the Kid Ego, man. We just working. We back. We back one time.
Yeah, Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua. Gerald Miller. Let's talk about it. Pull-up season. Pull-up gang. Make sure y'all come in and smash the like button. We just working a little bit. Just a little bit. I just watched it. I'm just trying to see what y'all saying on this. Yeah, let's get it, man. We're not going to do a roll call because we already did that last stream. So in case you guys were wondering, I did a live stream. Then I had to take a break because you guys were notifying me that Joshua and and Gerald Miller got into it. So I used that excuse to go get my coffee and come back to y'all. Be right back on. I'm probably not going to go too long, so we got to come in here, smash the like button, do what we do, and get it cracking. Oh yeah, we about to get a cracker. We got bangers, man. Someone said, what's whack? <laughs> oh, yeah, we back up in this mix. So, yeah, I watched a little conversation. The only thing is... Oh. <laughs> who's, try who's trying to avoid... What? <laughs> They don't, they're not trying to answer the tough questions or what? Y'all let me know. Man, listen. This, this is funny. The confrontation still won't make us forget how Team AJ Duck Wilder, though. See, and the other thing is, they like that's cool for, for photo ops and get people talking, but Joshua's not fighting Miller. He's fighting... Povetkin and Miller fighting whoever. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Y'all funny. You said he's avoiding blue blood. See, that's what I'm saying. L listen, this none of you guys act surprised. This shit don't surprise me. Like, listen. When Eddie Hearn was doing them one hour long interviews and shit, he's not being, he's not even barely being asked questions. It's just him talking and being like, oh, Wilder, Wilder, his, his stock is doing all this shit. Like, come on, man. Like, y'all playing, y'all don't know. I got stripes in this game. Like Big said, I got stripes, I got stripes like Yankee uniforms. Like, you, you need somebody who's going to, challenge certain points and and you know what i mean like doing all the oh aj stock is woo and then wilder stock is either or, woo, or it, we, like all these gang man nobody's trying to see you do the macarena and shit we trying to you know what i'm saying you like see but this is all this is what they do in the hot seat you guys realize this like the deflection tactics like um i'll be like oh yeah so Joshua, why didn't he fight? Why is he fighting Povetkin and Wembley? Blah blah blah. Oh, look at Ego. You look stupid. You're ugly. You're big. like, what's that got to do with anything? Okay, I'm ugly. What about the question though? You know what I'm saying? And Eddie Hearn keeps doing it. Oh, Walter Stock is here. And, and AJ Stock is like doing all these sound like 
doing all that. Shirley Winkle, Finkle, Dick. Just, it's like, it's like an old ass man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, respect your elders. Like, I'm not, it'd be one thing if Eddie Hearn would, like, like, for example, Conor McGregor going in on Steven Espinoza. That was pretty funny. He's like, yo, weasel. Like, you know what I mean? Who the fuck is this weasel? It, it, that was kind of funny because Steven Espinoza is not, he's he's older than Conor, but he's not like, you know what I'm saying? He's not like Hugh Hefner old. Like, that wouldn't be that funny if Conor was doing that to, like, I don't know. It's, it's I guess it's just, a, I don't know how to explain. Like, Richard, St- what's the name? Sturm from the MGM property. If Conor was doing that to him, it wouldn't even be that funny. But Steven Espinosa, he's younger and hipper than than these other dudes. So it was like, he, you know, he's not going to take it the wrong way. You know what I mean? But Eddie Hearn doing all this, Shirley Winkle, Finkle, Dink. Like, Shirley don't look like he, Shirley Finkle don't look like he partakes in any of that. Like, he's not going to try to roast you back. And so it's just like, what's the point? You know what I mean? Ooh, our stock is, ooh. And see, to me, that's damage control. Because AJ Stock ain't doing this from Pavetkin, doing all the, doing all this, and Wilder Stock's here. If anything, Wilder Stock was here, and then after Luis Ortiz, it started going like this, and he's trending upward. You know what I mean? But let Eddie Hearn say, he, he's saying we should give Wilder less. Just listen to it, people. He said we should give Wilder less money. We should give Wilder less money. Like, how you go, how you get less money? Like, if Wilder extends his knockout streak, how does that make him equal less money? Just explain that. Like, not even a bad performance. Like, so if if Wilder, let's say he fights Dominic Brazil, which is his mandatory, and then Wilder, and just knocks him out brutally, just hypothetically, how does his money go down from that? You're like, oh, we, we offered him 15 mil, but truthfully, he should get less. Why? Why would he get less for knocking out another person? You know what I'm saying? Less money equals stall the fight longer. Exactly. The, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, how, how does it, how does it, like, he's making it like Wilder's stock will drop. That's what I don't understand. Why would Wilder's stock drop, like plummet? Like, okay, for example, let's say the Roseanne show. She she came back on, on air at her show, and then week by week, she was steadily climbing. Her, her viewership was steadily getting higher. Then she released that fucked up tweet. People were like, oh, she's a bitch. Oh, she's being racist. So her stock woo, went all the way down because she was involved in some controversy. Or like these football players that, that hit their girl or something, like Ray Rice or the LaShawn or whatever, right? They have endorsement deals and they're doing good in this season. Their stock is like going up. And then they have this domestic violence. They get a catch a DV case. Whew. Then their stocks drop. I can understand that because they're involved in controversy. So if Wilder just is doing his job fighting the next available contender, couldn't get the Joshua fight, right? Already beat Luis Ortiz. Tyson Fury's fighting piano, pinata, right? Tomato, tomato. Why would his stock drop to the point where he gets less money? Like, is anybody really believe that? Like, why would he, why is it dropping? And for whatever reason, Eddie Hearn's under the impression that AJ stock is soaring with the Povetkin fight. I don't see that. How's it soaring? But you go to his, his Instagram and people are like, why? We didn't want this fucking fight. How's that? How is that? Josh was... His profile or whatever is going crazy. Yeah, Isaiah Thomas, that's a good example. Very good example. So that's what I'm saying. Eddie Hearns, he's saying stuff that I know in his heart of all hearts. I don't think he really believes it. Listen, I don't know what the fuck LL Cool J and Dr. Dre are doing with uh, Wilder, but I made a video for it. The video already has like 13,000 views, and I just, just did it this morning. Right, it had like over 700 likes, and I said the video is called Team Joshua's Plan Backfires. Some of y'all get it, old media probably won't get it, they won't ever get it, or they'll get it and then they'll refuse to, they'll act like they don't get it, right? 
the the point the basis is very simple the whole premise this wasn't like some insider story or i'm breaking news i was just giving my perspective but i can explain my perspective and i'll do it live and if anyone disagrees we could do the gladiator shit we could battle the hot seat the reason why it's titled their plan backfire is because everything they've said about wilder for the most part is meant for bad intentions negative listen like negative connotations like oh wilder's the b-side wilder's profiles wilder's profiles going down and all this extra stuff but what they don't realize and eddie hearn doesn't realize and maybe he'll never realize is as hard as you try to stain up wilder's name and and turn the fans against him to to gain public opinion you've inadvertently done the opposite and turn the public opinion against AJ, which wasn't always the case. Nobody had no issues with AJ. Nobody was making three and four videos a day or weekly videos or anything negative by and large about AJ. I'm not saying no one in the history of YouTube had made a bad AJ video, but I'm saying you didn't see, um, you didn't see this plethora of different channels all making videos that weren't like painting Joshua in the the wholesome light that he had always been painted painted in. You guys get what I'm saying? Listen, I don't know. We sound we have a good amount of people in here, but I don't know if people are listening because the comments. I don't know if it's freezing. If you can hear this, type the number seven, because when the comment when the chat just looks frozen like that. It always throws me off because it feels like something's wrong because the chat's always like usually moving. So I don't know if there's a freeze here. Type the number seven. I got to see some y some activity to make sure y'all are even here. Okay, so I guess people are just here but listening. Smash the like button. Anyway, the premise of the video is very simple. The bottom line is this. Eddie Hearn's attempt to assassinate Deontay Wilder's character has came to bite him in the ass, in my opinion. And the reason being is because you did all this to like kind of slander Wilder, turn the fans against Wilder, make Wilder look like the one ducking, make Wilder look like the guy who's not on your level. But in, you actually, in the process, did the opposite. Since Wilder has been gunning for the AJ fight, his profile has been growing. You know what I mean? You, some people say he's uh, cloud chasing, whatever, but it's working. Shout out to William Brunson. He said he had work listening. Wilder, without a doubt. Okay, l let's let's take this down to the basics. Is there anyone out of 200 plus people in this chat right now? Is there anyone that believes that Wilder's profile, his exposure, has not grown from the Bermain Stavern two rematch to right now? Just from that small point in November, I was at that fight, to right now. Does anyone think that he had more exposure before November of last year than he does now? Let's just take it down to the... See, I break shit down to the molecules. Does anyone believe that he had more... He had like, like okay, let's say Demetrius Andre. Good fighter. But this, he's not at his peak in terms of like being talked about there were i remember points where he was supposed to fight charlo or after he beat vonis his name was buzzing a lot more but it's died down because he's had promotional issues or things money issues that that he didn't like this person or whatever it kept him out of the ring wilder his profile has increased exponentially since november exponentially now i know there's a lot of idiots that listen to my channel and they'd say stuff like oh He's, he's still not the A-side. I've never said he's the A-side. You guys can have that. Joshua could be the A-side. But the whole point is, you, while you're sitting up here trying to condemn and like ostracize a man and assassinate his character, it actually helped him. Because it, it helped doing all these interviews against him. It helped the public see what was really going on behind the scenes, which opened up more gates and, and doors and levees for wilder to gain fans because people started seeing it so it actually backfired to me shout out to dale mccree five dollar super chat here's half of the disown money he will never see so out of pocket and petty <laughs> he 
He said hashtag principalities in my. He said there's principalities in his big worm voice. See, this is how you know it's bad. We just had an ego army participant, a member of the the army, who just gave me five dollars, and he said here, here's half of what it costs to get the zone. They'll never see my five dollars because I don't plan on buying the zone. I'd rather give you the five dollars. That's basically in layman's terms what he just said. He said it's about principle. It's about principalities, like Big Worm would say. That's pretty telling. Shout out to you for the super chat. He so he's showing you that he has he has ha- like at least half of what it takes to get the zone, but he'd rather invest it in the army, something that he follows or whatever. You know what I mean? As opposed to something that just got announced today and the zone is supposed to be put. That's bad, man. And like I said, this all stems from fans ain't buying it. Like, you can't just be out there saying whatever, protesting. Um, I told you, in my honest, humble opinion, the best thing that Eddie Hearn should have done, once you said you weren't fighting Wilder, Wilder, just drop it. Start fo- focusing on, on Povetkin. But he, he started doing these other cockamamie, you know what I mean? He started doing all these other cockamamie um, interviews after the point, and this further drove the point home of what people like new media have been saying. You know what I mean? Like, after we knew Wilder fight wasn't happening. They still try to blame Wilder, even though they took down, they didn't accept $50 million. And then saying stuff like, oh, Wilder deserves less money. How the fuck does he deserve less? Wow. Shout out to Marlon M. $5 super chat. Shh, money gang. Here's $5 more. The army. Gang. I told you. Gang. So within two super chats, they just paid for the zone, right? Bottom line is people support what they want to support and if you want their support typically you have to do things like you have to like i really feel i'm the people's champ like i'm i'm a fan at, at the core the reporter shit is cool all that but i'm a real person i could talk boxing like oh, i see you guys i take pictures i'm a regular person you know what i mean and, and i'm just saying like it, it to me the eddie hearn scheme and barry hearn and all that has backfired because why you you could keep saying in your mind that Joshua's profile is on the incline and shit like that and skyrocketing and Waters is going down, but you're you're really denying you're denying the truth. You're in denial because if anything, Joshua's profile was up here. Like after he beat Klitschko, people were like, "Whew, sky's the limit." But since the Klitschko fight, his profile to me has been kind of shaky. His performance versus Takam wasn't his best work. After you get all the experience for fighting like a, a Klitschko and winning, most people thought, oh man, he's about to be a killer next because he just fought that Hall of Famer and now all the information that he processed from that fight, but his performance wasn't. Then he fought Joseph Parker and his performance still was like not the best, not his best work. Now, after keeping the fans waiting with this Wilder situation, Right? And everyone thinking that it could happen next is not happening next. And you turn down 50 mil and then Eddie Hearn, all this stuff. Look at what I'm talking about. Shmoney Gang. J Ham 999. He said, here's my DAZN subscription money. Cause neither DAZN nor Eddie Hearns will see it until we get Wilder versus Joshua. Hashtag fair offers only. I told y'all. I, I, I really told y'all not to not to fuck with the army. You know what I'm saying? One man is cool, but one man is nothing to the army. You know what I mean? And there's strength in numbers, and this is what we've created. Shout out to you for the super chat. Look at Dale McCree. He gave me the rest of the DAZN money. He says, not half, but all. Hashtag ego army. Gang, gang. I'm telling you, ego's army. People, but... See, this is the thing. Americans have... Look, shout out to my dude, D. Bevel. There's another DAZN subscription. I'm not buying DAZN until I start seeing 
what's on the menu. Like, you ever went to a restaurant and you look at the menu and nothing looks good? Like, you go to Vegas, sometimes they have the menu real big before you go into the casino or the restaurant, the buffet, and you're like, damn, it's $80 for the buffet, and then you look at what they're offering, and you're like, nah, I'm cool. So that's the same way. I don't even food, something as simple as food that I'm going to shit out. I'm not going in there unless... I'm not going to spend my money unless I see what you're offering. Now, if the buffet looks slamming and it got good reviews on Yelp or I know somebody they went or the food just looks good, then I'll pay my money all day. I pay for quality. I'm all about quality. Shout out to D-Bevel the Champ. Another DAZN subscription. Here's another 10 for the Ego Zone app. <laughs> hey, you out of pocket for that. <laughs> he said 100. Hashtag new media. I'm telling y'all. Thank you guys for the support, but people have money, but you have to, in this day and age, you have to persuade them to want to spend on your product. You have to give them something to believe in. Now, if you led the people to believe, all right, shout out to D D boy. He about to get blocked. He says, you're fucking boring me. Coogan got good content out there on Big Baby. See, but why you have to come promoting another motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? But they in here. Look, people, get him out of here. Get D-Boy C. D-D-Boy C the fuck up out of here. You see how they hate? The Super Chats come in, and he telling me he's trying to promote, solicit, and promote another channel. Why? But why do you have to do that? Why do you have to go? Why do you have to try to promote another channel if if they're doing whatever they're doing? He says Cheers wasn't meaning to be bad. Oh well, you getting blocked anyway. You talk about oh you're boring me. Okay, we are gonna bore you to fuck up out of here. Get out of get out of the chat. Listen, I I'm not with all the slick shit. You know what I mean? That's that sneak diss and shit. Oh you're boring me, but this channel. Listen, if the fans they know how to search YouTube. They know how to get to all the channels. You know what I mean? So if, if whatever person's content is what you want to hear, by all means, there's the door. Shout out to Slade. $10 shmoney gang. He said, here's my disown money. Crying emoji. That, I'm telling you, Ego's army is not playing. Fuck it. We having a disown party, I guess. <laughs> but I, I'm telling y'all, the, the honest, the honest um, thing if I was advising Eddie Hearn, and some people are like, who, are, who the fuck are you? He's worth millions. Who are you to advise? They could do whatever they want. But when when you weren't fighting, wild, fighting Wilder and it wasn't coming, look, another motherfucker wants my attention so bad. Ego, shut the fuck up and just keep it up, dumbass. Blocked. Get these bumps out of my face, man. Ego, shut the fuck up and just keep it up. What does that even mean? Looking shaky. They want to hate so bad. But the people see it. I mean, numbers don't lie. We got to clap these dudes. Um. Yeah, man. It just... I really feel that Eddie Hearn, when you weren't fighting, because see, what the Hearns have done, Barry and Eddie Hearn have done to AJ's profile in a short period of time has, I don't know the last time I've seen this. Like, for example, Adrian Broner, when he's not painted in the, in the right light, it's because of him for the most part. Like he... He, he posted some cryptic message or did something, right? It's not like his team was doing something that made people look at Broner unfavorably. Broner himself did something. But with this Hearn situation, Barry and Eddie recently, recently, they have done stuff that, in my opinion, has hurt Joshua's stock. That's bad. That's bad when when your team is saying speaking on your behalf. Like same thing with Golovkin. 
some people don't want to see Golovkin get to the next level or beat Canelo because of shit Abel Sanchez is saying. That's how that's kind of how it works because you're allowing this person to be your mouthpiece and he's saying whatever, oh black fight, all oh, you motherfuckers don't sell. Like he's saying whatever the fuck he wants to say. And you just letting it ride. So then people are like, okay, you part of that. You part of that regime. You subscribe to the same belief system. So in in effect, then you have people like, oh man, I hope Canelo beats Golovkin. And it, it might not have been from something Golovkin did directly, but you got him on your team and you have him, you know what I mean? He's saying whatever with no filter. That's kind of what happened. Like, truth be told, here's a question. Canelo Alvarez. What has Eddie or Chepo Reynoso? Just listen to the question. What has Eddie or Chepo Reynoso said to to hurt Canelo's stock? Like where people are like, oh, I'm getting so fucking tired of the Reynosos. What have they said? It, name something recent that they've said. I'll wait. Name some like interview that they did. Where people are like, oh my god, I'm fucking tired of Eddie and Chepo. Like, name something. What what do they do? What did have what have the Reynosos done? Canelo's trainers. Hello, y'all can't hear? Y'all y'all can't hear me now? Am I am I like muted? I speak Spanish and they don't say anything out of the ordinary. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, Canelo's... People hate Canelo for, like, the failed drug tests and shit like that. But his trainers aren't, like, speaking on Canelo's behalf and saying all types of radical shit that makes him... That makes Canelo look bad. They're not like... C C Chepo and Eddie never said black fighters are boring and they fight in a style that is unpleasant unple and it rub people the wrong way. They're not saying this and that like about running and oh, this guy was like... They said a little bit about a lot of running, but it's not like a belabored point like Eddie... I mean like uh, Abel Sanchez. Same thing with Eddie Hearn. Eddie and Barry doing all these extra interviews, you're better off just just dropping it you're not fighting wilder next you got wembley see if you can make it in april but he kept going but now american fans a lot of them are, are kind of fed up with the bullshit like when listening to the disown press conference it didn't see seem lit in fact the the show was overtaken by the gerald miller altercation but the reality of the situation is gerald miller's not fighting aj how you got the main event and people didn't sound like they were going crazy for it let that press conference have been uh, Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. You don't think that shit would have sounded lit? Having Wilder like, New York, I'm, I'm so frustrated, New York. <laughs> we waited so long trying to get this fight, but Anthony Joshua's, Eddie Hearn, you know he's going to put the S on both of their names. Anthony Joshua's, I told you I was coming. Eddie Hearns didn't want to make this fight, but... We we had to we had to do what we had to do. I got a strong team. Mark Breland, they riding with me. So after this press conference, I'm gonna go to Walmart. Like what? Walmart? Did motherfuckers say Walmart with a K? <laughs> Y'all know my dude Wilder be making up making up words. Eddie Hearns. <laughs> Meet me at the Super Walmart. Like that motherfucker said Walmart. <laughs> I'm telling you, if, if that was Wilder in New York, that shit would have been more lit. Gerald Miller got it popping a bit, but again, he's not fighting him. He's not fighting him next. So, yeah, people get it, like, juiced. The zone look low budget as fuck. Wow, y'all tripping. I'm just saying, man, people... Wilder gonna assail you? I don't even know what that means. That's that South shit. That's some country shit. Like how they say, that's what I'm saying. Wilder be, he be at the seafood restaurant. 
a waitress. Let me get some of them jumbo scrimp. I need me some scrimps. Like the motherfucker said scrimps? Oh shit, he country. This motherfucker said scrimp. I need to get scrum. I need some protein, so I need me some scrimps. A seafood restaurant. <laughs> Let your boy bomb score get. I'm the W. I'm the WB. One face, one scrimp, one lobster, one lobster tail. Let me get some scrimps. <laughs> like damn, you you sound an extra country today, Wilder. You know we waited for this moment. I'm so excited. That motherfucker said excited. He ain't even excited. That motherfucker just excited. <laughs> I'm so excited for this moment. I can't wait to show y'all what we've been working. <laughs> That's how Wilder would do it. He always be doing them crazy eyes. Eddie Hearns, he didn't want to make the fight, but I told you we was going to smoke him out. And I can't wait. And I will. I'm so excited. I will. <laughs> how y'all going to say? You know how Wilder be doing his eyes? like, <laughs> And Joshua's... You remember the dude on Pineapple Express? I seen it. <laughs> we seen it coming a mile away. And Eddie Hearns didn't want this fight. But God willing, the fans, they got involved. But um, smash the like button. We working. Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> I'm just telling you, man. Eddie Hearns, I think he should have just dropped it like it was... It, you're not fight because you're just you're. I guess, like I said, I feel like people want to take cue from Floyd Mayweather, but they don't do it right. Like, it takes a certain like even like li see I can talk about this. This takes a level of practice, like. When I first started, I couldn't just get on here. like, And I had done music and stuff where I was comfortable with my voice on tape and stuff like that. But it's a different ball game because it's a whole different arena. Podcasting or live streaming or whatever. This takes um, a level of practice and comfortability to get to that where you could just... Anthony Joshua, I'm so I'm so excited right now. You know what I mean? And just bless the mic. Like, I'd be doing two-hour live streams having fun with it and it just flow but when i first started i couldn't just do that and there's a lot of other people that are like oh fuck fuck the ego sucks but they, okay you do it you start a youtube channel and get a fan base and we'll see how long you last doing it you know what i mean some people be stuttering and sounding unsure of themselves and stuff like that because they either need practice and some people will just give up you know what i mean they'll do that lucas quitise and they'll quit before it ever they ever have a breakthrough so that being said at the end of the day I got to give her some credit for what? What are you giving them credit for? Wilder is a bum, LOL. See, this is what they always do. They just laugh at their own jokes. Okay, why is he a bum? Let Wilder fight someone serious first. So Luis Ortiz wasn't serious? This is an easy hot seat. I got a hot seat. His name is Zizir's Jar Jars. Why is Wilder a bum? And Luis Ortiz wasn't a serious... Explain how Luis Ortiz wasn't someone serious. These dudes can't win because this is what they do. It's just a bunch of radical shit. Okay, so explain why Wilder, why you said Wilder's a bum and explain how Luis Ortiz was not someone serious. Wilder, Duck, Briggs, Mansoor. Strike one. I'm not even reading the rest of that. Explain why Wilder's a bum and explain how Luis Ortiz wasn't serious. You just said the man duck, ducked Amir Mansoor. Please stop. Please stop. Joshua never fought Mansoor either. Nobody fought him except for Steve Cunningham and uh, Dominic Brazil. What are you talking about? We got an easy hot seat. Yeah, he said Shannon Briggs. I mean, nobody gave Briggs a chance. David Hay didn't give him a chance. Uh, Klitschko didn't give him a chance. So what are you talking about? This shit is easy. This shit is easy work. So why is he a bum? 
And how is Luis Ortiz not a serious person in the division? You you talking about Amir Mansoor, but who who really believes that that Amir Mansoor is more of a threat than Luis Ortiz in this current status of the heavyweight division? You know what I'm saying? So how are you gonna say he ducked all these people, but Luis Ortiz is rated higher than Amir Mansoor? AJ fought more top ten. You're out of here. You won't. You refuse to answer the questions. Wasting my time. Blocked. Get him out of here. You see, this is what they do. They say the dumb shit. Then when I check them on it and ask for them to elaborate on the dumb shit that they already just said, they go on tangents about whatever without answering the question. How does that work? So listen, if let's say a policeman pulls you over. And he says, have you been drinking and driving? And you're like, no, I haven't been. And he's like, your eyes look pretty glazed. And he's flashing the flashlight. And he's like, it looks like you've been drinking and driving. Right? And he's like, you were swerving. Why were you swerving? So the subject is the cop pulling you over. Right? He has probable cause. He believes that you're a danger to the road because you're drinking and driving. Right? You can't just all of a sudden, once he starts questioning why you were driving erratically and swerving, in and out the lanes and you smell and reek of alcohol and it looks like your eyes are glazed over so you have all the symptoms and then while you're talking about drinking or driving just be like oh and my baby mama trying to take me to court da, da, da. what does that have to do with you drinking and driving true okay your baby mama is trying to take you to court she's trying to take you on mori but what in the fuck does that have to do with you drinking and driving see the real the real world doesn't work like that you can't just dodge the question entirely right and start talking about your own other problems or they want to know if you've been drinking or driving. You're like, hey, my kids acting up. They all getting F's. They got straight F's in school. That's great. But what the fuck does that have to do with drinking and driving? This, my friends, is what they do. Wilder's a bum. Wilder's a bitch. Wilder, Wilder, Wilder. Wilder needs to fight someone serious. I respond. Why is Wilder a bum? Why is he... Why are you not considering Luis Ortiz a real level of opposition? And he starts talking about other shit. Oh, AJ, AJ can bench press 300 pounds. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Why is Wilder a bum? And how is Luis Ortiz not a legit foe? But Wilder can bench press 300, I'm telling you. I've seen him. Sometimes he puts four plates on the weight bench. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? I don't care if Joshua can bench press the world. What does that have to do with the question? But this is what they do. They ducking and dodging. Just like Eddie Hearn in this whole situation. Smash the like button. They can't answer straight questions because you know what they look? They view it like entrapment. That's why you... You know when motherfuckers is guilty and they uh, uh, want to speak to a lawyer because they don't want to say nothing. This is what we do to them all the time in the hot seat. They don't want to say anything because they know they don't have a point and it's going to it's going to lead to them looking stupid. So they try to derail, distract, um, divert, deflect everything with the fucking D in it to not answer the question. And they made the statement. If you guys ask me, hey, Ego, why do you think Team Joshua played more of a role in this fight not happening? I'll start telling you about the inconsistencies. You know what I'm saying? I'll start telling you about little things that were said on their side. That's why. You know what I mean? I'm not going to like distract and start talking about, AJ don't like English muffins. What, what does that got to do with anything? Crazy. They can't answer simple questions. That's the point blank period. All right, we got another hot seat. How come Wilder took a month to reply? Who cares? How come Joshua turned down 50 million? You answer my question, I'll answer yours. What's more imperative? Like, What's, what's more of a, a sticking point and more shocking? 
Wilder getting a lowball offer of fifteen million dollars to what this fight can generate, and him taking a month to reply, right? Or somebody turning down a career high guarantee that no fighter from Lennox Lewis to Mike Tyson Ali, none of them have ever been. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. You're in the hot seat. He turned down the 50 million because he wanted to fight in the UK. That's simply not a strong enough answer. When has anyone in the history of the world of boxing done that? Here, you said you said he turned it down because he wanted in the UK. Now you, you fucked up. You fucked up. So why did he ask for $50 million? No UK clauses in that interview with the red background with IFL if there was more to it. If he, he said, they said it's 100 mil, I'll tell you what. Give me 50 mil, I'll take the fight tomorrow. Why did he say that then? See, this is how they, I told you, they're, they're fucking frogs. They just lily pad, jump from lily pad to lily pad. But you're not jumping up out of this hot seat. So why would he, if he wanted to fight in the UK, why didn't he say that? He says, he said, oh, 50 mil? Okay, I'll fight the fight tomorrow. I'll, I'll fight tomorrow. That's one issue. Two issues. Why was Eddie Hearn doing an interview with the boxing voice? And he said that Joshua might come to America to fight America. I mean, to fight Gerald Miller. Why was he going to fight Klitschko in America? But now all of a sudden it's all about the UK and they got to stay home for the fans. You answer these questions. You you guys are trapped. Too much has been said, right? Anthony Joshua don't want to do a U.S. press tour, but where is, where is he at right now? Oh, that's right, in New York for this DAZN app that nobody's really talking about buying in America. But I thought you don't want to cut, you don't need to be, you, you got a good thing going in the UK. Why, you in, why the fuck you in America then right now? Let's go. I'm built. I'm built for it tough. I'm ready for this. Why you get get out of America? Both of y'all. If, if you don't give a fuck about this country, you know what I'm saying? You say we got a good thing in the UK. Why'd you open up an office in New York? Why you doing a press conference in New York? Get the fuck up out of here then. So y'all want to play. But this is the army. We don't we don't play. You don't play boxing. You don't play the army. Let's go. So why are they doing a New York, do a UK press conference? See how much uh, people from America travel out to for the DAZN announcement. Go do it in the UK. How about that? Also, Hearn wants AJ to fight in the US, but AJ is the one that wants to keep fighting. So then they're not in, in agreement. You you getting killed. Hey, should, should, we, should I keep this hot seat going? Because I feel like I'm murdering him. Stone Cold, you could get next. You going to get your ass Stone Cold stunned too. You have no answer for me. You ain't got no type of work for me. Please believe it. Should I let this first bum live? I mean, not live, but should we keep this going? They trying to rationalize it, but it don't make sense. Should should bum one keep, should I keep going? You're proving my point. His, his team ain't on the same accord. They ain't on unison. Watch the AJ interview after the Parker fight. Then watch her. I mean, I'm not doing all these homework assignments. I already know what was said. If he got an L, the rise walker, we're going to put him in a walker. He, We're going to cripple him. We're going to put him in a walker. If he got an L, put your L's up. One bum out of here. Okay. Bye-bye. You, 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 you couldn't beat me. All right. He's out of here. Now, what's up with this other dude? Let's go. You, you pick up where he left off. I forgot this bum. I see it's hard for me to remember all these bum, bums' names. You know what I mean? Because when you meet bums, you don't really remember their names, right? You just like, oh, if you met a homeless guy, hi, I'm Tom. You know, you're not gonna remember that. It's only three letters. You're still not gonna remember. Hard for me to remember bum names. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect for all the homeless, but it's hard for me to remember the names of these bums. Okay, Stone Cold, you pick up where he left off. Why did Joshua turn down 50 million? Fuck your questions. Answer mine. And then I'll answer yours. You bum number two. I'm going to do like Mayweather. You just get a number. You bum number two. Answer the question, Stone Cold. You Steve Austin, right? You Stone Cold. We're going to see if you freeze since you so cold. All right. Why did, why did Anthony Joshua and team turn down $50 million? See, every time, all you have to do is ask simple questions. Every time you try to make them rationalize it, they sound worse. That's bottom line. 
because you're rationalizing a motherfucker turning down a career high payday that nobody has been guaranteed in the heavyweight division. And most people in boxing haven't been guaranteed that. Do you guys realize Canelo got a guarantee of five fucking million dollars to fight Floyd? Yes, he made a lot of money on the back end because the fight was massively successful and merchandise and all this extra shit. That motherfucker Canelo got five million dollars guaranteed. Five million dollars to fight Floyd Mayweather. M Madonna damn near fought Floyd for like three, four million in a bag, bag of uh, hot fries and shit. Flaming hot Cheetos with limon. Like, what are y'all talking about? Every time you put this in their face, they look stupid because they, there's no real rationalizing of turning down that type of money. I, I'll fight someone in the fucking dumpster for 50 million. I mean, what's the word? I'm going to get knocked out in a fucking trash can and be sleep with the trash? Like, fuck it. My family would be cool. You know what I'm saying? But Wilder turned down a career high payday. Bro, you, he, his career high day, payday is 12.5 to 15 million. Joshua asked for 50, got offered 50, and still turned it down. Strike one. We not playing with you. You Stone Cold, you got to come with something better. Stone Cold is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And you not doing his name justice. You looking real Stone Cold. Okay. Man, get the likes up. We got a bum number two. We got bum number two. We got we got to get him up out of here. You talking about, oh, Wilder, he, he turned down a career high payday. Yeah, but it's an unfair career high payday. Joshua's wasn't. His career high payday had had a, a, a stopping point because it was a fucking flat rate. Joshua's wasn't, right? His wasn't. So depending on how successful the event was, Joshua could have made, he could have got all this money. Wilder, no matter how successful the event was, he's stuck right here. So that should be two strikes for you. Okay, come on, Stone Cold. Wilder's resume is pathetic. Two strikes. What else you got? What else you got? You going against the Don. You going against Young Credentials. You got to come with something better than that. Walter's resume is pathetic. All right. Joshua didn't fight Pavet, I mean, Ortiz. That's all you got, Stone Cold? You stopped the stream for this? All right. Let's vote. He, he wasting my time now. Bum number two. If he got that L... And he didn't beat me. Put your L's up. Put your L's up. Put your L's up. The Stream King. Oh my gosh. Listen. Anytime you bring up the 50 mil, they're going to sound crazy because they're going to, they're really going to be trying to rationalize why you would turn down $50 million. Crazy. The L's is coming through. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Stone Cold. Goodbye. I need, I need the Stone Cold theme song when the glass breaking for my intro. Okay. Hold on, we gotta get Stone Cold up out of here. The people have spoken. He can't he can't survive out in these waters. Damn, I can't even find them. There's so many L's were put. Oh, I found them. Got him. You're out of there. Who next? Let's get it. I'll cover any fight that's worth it. I'll cover any fight that's worth it. I, if it's a good fight, it's a good fight. I don't care who's doing it. I've been to ESPN. I've been to Top Rank, HBO, Al Heyman, Showtime, Fox. I've been to all types of fights. I don't care who's doing it. Hey, as long as it's good. I don't know. I don't have no shooters in here. It's crazy. Maybe they at work. But, um, yeah, man, it's, it's looking shaky. Here, we'll go over the list again. The names announced for DAZN today. Jesse Vargas, 
Demetrius Andre, Daniel Roman, Maurice Hooker, Arter Better Beev, and Gerald Big Baby Miller. Those are the DAZN names that have been announced. Danny McDonald says, shades off inside. How are the shades off when they're on? You sound stupid. Cheap ass cube, you wasting all our time. You can't even spell R. I'm not even reading the rest of this. He's out of here. That was some easy work. He spelled our, O-U-R, A-R-E. I, I can't even read that level of stupidity and take it serious. You don't even know how to spell our. He's like, you're wasting our time. A-R-E, really? You can't even spell our? Wow. Look, they try to come and promote in other channels. Block, who next? Who next? <laughs> this shit is easy. Listen, if if all these other channels are your favorite channel, why do you why do you have to solicit? Why do you have to come to my channel? Why do you have to come to my channel to recommend their channel? If if the fans want to be on their channel, they can go to whatever channel they want to. But they know we done the livest gates and we getting that super chat. What the fuck? I get more. I got more money on on these last two live streams than any disown video that I've seen. When it's all said and done, so what did we talk about? Oh yeah, the fucking some people at the disown press conference. Okay, what does that got to do? They making more money on the on the disown video. Who cares? You think that? We got super chats, baby. Yeah, man. Let's get it. Yeah, it's nine ninety nine a month. Ricky Rick load the Draco up. Is Ricky Rick in here? Finally we got a shooter in here. Yeah, smash the like button. That's hella funny. They come in and try to promote and advocate other channels. Why do people should normally be on? Hold on. Shout out to EO Rhino, $2 super chat. He said, get it. Let's get it, gang, gang. I told you, super chat king, man. We super chat king. Finally, we got a shooter, Ricky Rick, in the building. Thank you. Because they've been acting a fool. We got 51 dislikes, but we ain't got 51 dead bodies. What's wrong with that picture? Okay. I said we got 51 dislikes. We got 100-something likes, 51 dislikes, but we ain't got 51 dead bodies. We don't got 51 great arguments. What does that tell you? See, that's what I'm saying. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Let's get it. Okay, we got another shooter. That's what I'm talking about. We got some shooters now. Listen, $9.99 for DAZN and the current names that were announced today. Once again, Jesse Vargas, Demetrius Andrade, Daniel Roman, Maurice Hooker, and Arter Better Beev with Gerald Big Baby Miller and Joshua Povetkin will be on there as a fight. Like... The way Eddie Hearn made it sound like he made it sound like he was gonna drop the ball and, and like get all these promoter American promoters shook. As far as I'm concerned, I'm I'm just being real. I don't think Golden Boy has a deep stable, but there's not one person on that list that is more influential or impactful to the game than Canelo. Who wants to argue in the hot seat? We got some more super chats. Shout out to EO Rhino again, two dollars. Shmoney game. He said, with this one, you have double what DAZN made. I'm done. Listen, I'm going to read it one more time. Oh, I'll read it as many times as y'all want. 
The names announced for DAZN are as follows. Jesse Vargas, Demetrius Andre, Daniel Roman, Maurice Hooker, Arter Better Be of Gerald Miller. Now, again, Golden Boy doesn't have a deep stable right now, but Canelo alone is more of a like influential or whatever you want to call it, more of a star than than really everyone on the list. You know, he doesn't have like so basically what I'm saying is Golden Boy, they have more of a vehicle, if especially if Canelo wins versus Golovkin. Imagine what his star power is going to go. And they don't even have a deep set. Do you get what I'm saying? Who wants to who wants to debate that? Name one person on that list that is bigger than Canelo Alvarez. Name one person. Name one person. Hello. Ronald Finky said crickets. Exactly. See, people get mad when I say it, but they don't disprove it. So do what you do. Smash the dislike button because that's all you can do. All right. Maybe Canelo's a bridge too far. Name someone on that list that is bigger than Adrian Broner. So, like, just bigger. They put on bigger fights, more notable fights that people knew about, and they've gotten bigger paychecks than Broner. Hello? Can you guys hear me? Because I'm not seeing no responses. Name somebody that was recently signed that was announced that are bigger than Adrian Broner. How in the fuck is Jesse Vargas bigger than Broner when he was the he just fought Broner and he was the B side? You sound stupid. I should I should really eliminate you in the hot seat because that don't even make sense. He was the B side in the promotion, but but he's the a, but he's bigger than Broner, really. Yeah, you in the hot seat. I, I can't I can't settle for that. I'm sorry. Hugh Janus. Okay, haha, your name, Hugh Janus. Just kidding. Man, you about to get burned. Keep listen, keep playing with me. Keep playing with fire, you're gonna get burned. I'm listen, if y'all just saying whatever, I'm not about that. You y'all just saying whatever just to to like corrupt the chat and stuff, you're gonna get blocked the same because you're part of the problem. Cause y'all up here like straight up playing around. If you're playing around, make it known that you're playing around because I'm going to just treat you like another troll. Straight up. But like, Jesse Vargas, haha, just kidding. Because if you don't, then it's whatever. Y'all going to get it the same. Uh, Block Daryl, he says, you related to Litter Ellaby, even though I look nothing like him. He says, same sexy beard. Block the fuck out of him. His name is uh, Darrell Charlton. Wasn't funny. Get some better material, suspect, and you're getting blocked. Ronald Finkley clapped, yo dumbass. Who next? Okay, let, name somebody on that list that's more popular than Ryan Garcia. I, I'm just, I'm just opening the floodgate. Name. I'm not talking about who accomplished, who's more skilled, who is more popular than Ryan Garcia out of everyone they signed. Again, I'm not talking about skill for skill or who would win versus Ryan. Who's more popular? That's all. That's it. Popularity, because popularity sells. Amir Khan wasn't announced on that. How the fuck is Boo Boo more popular than Ryan Garcia, especially right now? How? A lot of people didn't even watch Boo Boo's last fight. He wasn't even the main event. Ryan Garcia just did a main event and he's getting his own other main event in September. I'm talking about momentum, popularity. See, see, y'all, some of y'all can't comprehend. Y'all thinking about like skill. Andre, skill, of course, he, he's up there. I'm not talking about skill. I'm talking about popularity. 
Meaning, if Demetrius Andre posted a video right now, it's gonna get more views than Ryan Garcia. That's what you're telling me? That's what popularity is. So if Ryan Garcia is in his garage like, ish, 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 and then doing a garage video on his bag, and then Demetrius Andre's in his garage, right now, you mean Boo Boo would get more views than Ryan Garcia. Because you guys have to understand, popularity doesn't really have to do with skill. It doesn't have to do with, like, The Rock just, he became the highest paid actor ever. That don't mean he's the best actor ever. I'm just talking about pop, pure popularity. Oh, wow. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Kevin says, yo, Eagle, I got to put you on right now. Ticket TV and Blue Blood put AJ on the spot. AJ just told Blue Blood that he didn't mean to ask for, for the $50 million. This is a disaster, dog. I'm done. See, I told you. This is crazy. Shout out to that man putting in work. Shout out to Blue. You my boy, Blue. <laughs> like, that, where do I find that? Just put the link in. Where, where, how do I get to this? Because I just like to confirm stuff. So, like, no disrespect to you, Kevin. I'm not saying like that. But, you know, in this business, I, I want to hear it for myself. And some people interpret things or hear different things or whatever. How do I find this? How do we find this? That's all I need to know. <laughs> hey, this shit is funny. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, there's a live. I don't know. <laughs> this shit funny. How are you going to say you didn't mean to ask for 50 mil? I told you. And remember Eddie Hearn was like, oh, Joshua Stark is with the Pavekian is playing all these games and stuff. See, hold on. I got to get in my zone. I got to get in my zone real quick. I told you quit. I told y'all quit playing these childish games with grown men. Hold on. We're going to do a quick. We're going we going we going to hype us up. Hold on. We got to get us hyped up. I tried telling y'all. We got to get uh, hyped up. Do not put my verse on your records. Smash the like button. Do not put my verse on your records. Alright? Yeah. Young. M. Easy. Let's get it. Smash the like button. Hold on, Hold on man. We gonna get it. Yup. Smash the like button. We working. Chill. Cannot live. You playing the band? I playing the bang too. You playing the game? I'm seeing the thing through. You saying my name to entertain your crew? I ain't playing no games with shots exchanging through. Fresh out probation, I got a charge to throw away. My lawyer saved for Eddie Larger to go away. And that ain't no money to J. So you can get it broad day on Broadway while TRL taping. You playing the games, you know you ain't gonna win. Quit playing them childish games with grown men. I don't give a f about cars or chrome rims. I got apartments you can put your home in. Can I, can I live? Oh my gosh. 
I told y'all playing the how do, we gonna run it back one more time. I gotta get hyped to this. Alright. Can I? Uh, y'all got me? You plan to bang, I plan to bang too. You playing the games, I'm seeing the thing through. You saying my name to entertain your crew. I ain't playing no games, we'll shut the change it through. Fresh out probation, I got a charge to throw away. My lawyer saved for 80 larger to go away. And that ain't no money to Jay, so you can get it broad day on Broadway while TRL taping. You playing the game, you know you ain't gonna win. Quit playing them childish games with grown men. I don't give a fuck about cars or chrome rims. I got apartments you could put your home in. Can I live? All right, y'all got me? <laughs> I told y'all quit playing them childish games. Oh my god, I told you I quit playing them childish games. Oh my gosh. It's a rap si <laughs> Oh my god. You playing the game, you know you ain't gonna win. Quit playing them childish games with grown men. Oh my gosh, can I? Listen. Reese Capone says, shut the fuck up. But you come to the stream. But you want me to shut the fuck up on my channel. Shooters, get rid of Reese Capone. Get get Reese. You ain't no Capone. You ain't no Don. Get rid of Reese. He a Reese PC. No wrong way to eat a Reese. Get him out of here. Reese Capone, you gone. You all the way gone. Shooters, get rid of him. Yeah, shout out to James Souza. <laughs> Hold on, Lobster Mayweather says, Ego, go to ES News and watch the latest video. AJ got caught lying. I gotta check this out after because I can't stop what I'm doing. What happened? What did he say? Hold on, hold on. Kevin, stop it. He said, yo, Ego, they ran AJ out of the DAZN press conference. Bruh, AJ is an embarrassment, real shit. How did they run him out? Like, what happened? Like, y'all gotta tell me. I'm, I'm doing my own thing, so I don't, I don't know what was said yet. He was asked about the 50 mil deal. He said they didn't offer him it. Oh wow, who, who didn't? Eddie Hearn or Wilder? Y'all all over the place. I don't know what y'all talk about. Listen. <laughs> This, this is like I told you. Okay, remember, like I'm the reason why this is funny to me, cause what happened? All that damage control, all that bullshit, all that shoot 'em up shit. Y'all be talking. <laughs> hey, you gotta do something, man. All that shoot 'em up shit. You, <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, nigga, everybody listen. All that shoot 'em up shit. Y'all be talking. <laughs> you gotta do something, baby. What? Check me out, Blue Blood asked AJ about the 50 mil and he said nah, it was 100 mil. I don't even understand that. I'm not sipping, I'm drinking coffee. This shit is funny. Listen, y'all some real life drug addicts and you guys should look into that. Every time somebody has fun, I get paid to do this. This is what I do for a living. This is fun. I like my life. All your, oh, egos on ecstasy and shit. I'm not out here like feng shui. Like, I am perfectly sober. Not that I have to explain it to anybody. I'm drinking a coffee. People are like, oh, egos, he's on perks. He's a, he's sipping. Oh, no, I don't. It's, it's not. It's like noon. Y'all some real life drug addicts. This shit is that funny. I'm getting high off of y'all dumbasses because I just told y'all I don't smoke either. I just told y'all what was to come. And now we're seeing it unfall. All that damage control, all that shoot em up shit y'all be talking. <laughs> hey, er, nigga, everybody listening. All that extra stuff y'all was doing, now it's coming to a head. The moment people in the media, and even though I'm not there, but there's been a lot of people like myself and others who have put out the message, the true message of what's going on. So it gave people perspective like, Hey, yeah, I remember Ego put together that Eddie Hearn interview. And then he's, he's saying Wembley wasn't available. Right? So that gives them ammunition. Even I see, that's what I'm saying. That's what happens with the army. I don't even have to be there. You know what I mean? 
I don't even have to be in the scene. And I'm not saying I did this solely, but you know who's on the front line. Y'all know who's on the front line. So I don't even have to be there. I gave people ammunition. I know I gave people bullets along with some other people. Gave people the bullets and ammunition. So now we just watch the soldiers work. We watch the show. We watch the soldiers work. And I told you, remember when I said this, I told you I'm a prophet in this game. I see it before it happens. Ego Stradamus. I'm Rasputin. Didn't I say, can't, uh, didn't I say this from my real shooters, my real egos, army soldiers. Didn't I say, Hey, facts only block him. He trying to be smart. He said, Riga now beats Lomachenko. So I got a fight prediction wrong. I got a fight prediction wrong. Who gives a shit? It's a fight prediction. What have I been right? Block facts only get him the fuck out of here. He, he trying to be funny. Anyway, did I or did I not say this? Eddie Hearn doing 30, 40, 42, 45 minute, hour long interviews. They're quaint. They're comfortable. They're with allies. They're with people that he frequently collaborates with, right? They're with Sky Sports, who is not going to jump in the middle and they're UK based and stuff like that, right? So those interviews are all fun and we. Wilder is going to put the, you know, Anthony Joshua fight for back in doing all these games and shit, right? You got there are two different levels. You see, you see Anthony Joshua stock with the back and going doing all this extra shit, right? Yes, yeah, tee hee tee hee hee motherfucker, right? It's funny. You got Deontay Wilder, the bronze bomber, and he's AJ. AJ, you get the AJ, the motherfucking stock is like, did you get Wilder? The Wilder go, his stock go, like, doing all this stuff. It's fun. That's fun. Because you're comfortable. But what happens when you come to America? The place you turned your back on. And then you start dealing with media who have been provided the proper bullets to ask you questions that you might not be ready for. That's the difference. All them, uh, like, like he looks, Eddie Hearn looks comfortable in the, in the, the ones where he's like, Oh, Wilder deserves less. You know why? Cause he's comfortable with them. He's comfortable with saying that, say that to American media, say, Hey, you're American champ. He deserved way less. We offered him 15 million. We should really resend that. We should we should be Indian givers and take that back. Say that and see if you don't get any resistance. Because we're not going to just fall for it. We're not going to take it. Americans aren't going to just Oh yeah, okay. You're going to disrespect our American champ. See, they thought there was no unity, but we brought that back like a boomerang. I told you it's a new government. All that other bullshit y'all was used to listening to, we was gonna do something new, Ego's Army style. They said, don't start a war unless I got my money right. <laughs> I got my money right, and I want war. I told you it was coming. This is a new regime. This is a new time, a new government. Anarchy, death to all the bullshit that goes on in boxing. That's what I told y'all. And now you see it. All them quaint interviews, you in the library and tea and crumpets. Uh, that's cool. But you come to America with the zone, right? You come to America to zone. Now they pressing AJ, asking the questions that were never asked in those quaint interviews. Like Eddie Hearns, like, Wilder, they're laughing in the background. That's funny. They're, they're chumming it up. Let's see what happened. I haven't even watched it. But let's see if that's the same. You know what I'm saying? You get Ness from the boxing voice who've been moving, doing his thing, right? Let's see if he's laughing when the answers are coming. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference. So that's why I said it's better to just be transparent, be honest. Listen, 
That's why I can go anywhere that I that I want because I feel like I'm being true to myself. Like, like if if I go to any fight, any fight in America, I'm not worried about nothing because the, what I'm putting out there, I feel is real. I'm not out here trying to sell y'all no product, right? I'm not out here just saying something to get super chats. If the super chats come, they come. But I don't depend my life around or my channel on something. That's just extra credit. You know what I mean? That just helps the movement. So I, I'm good. That's why I, I don't I don't go. I'm not out here just saying the bullshit fuckery. So if I go to a fight and someone's like, hey, why would you pick Wilder to beat Joshua? And they ask me and we want to have a conversation. I'll be like, hey, this is why I think he would win. But I'm down to see it. Come to the UK, you'll get your head wigged. Okay, I'll be out to the UK. We'll see. I'll be out to the UK. So remember, you said that. See, <laughs> these dudes is crazy. These dudes is crazy. Yo, I just saw ES News. AJ ran around all the questions. Told you. These dudes, it, see, the other thing is, well, I used to, I told you, I used to live in England. I'm good. You know how many, I like, I can show you all my analytics right now. I got a ton of people from the UK. Ton. And the real recognize the real. No matter, see, that's the other thing. No matter where you go, real recognizes real. So it don't matter. You can go to Africa and them motherfuckers, it is him. Like they, they, if it's, if you real, it don't matter. It don't matter if you real. If you real, then it's, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? They're going to show you love as long as you ain't disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. <sighs> 68 dislikes. Is that a PR for you? ego i don't care about the dislikes because the dislikes ain't taking money out of my bank account i don't care listen i'm trying to tell you all y'all can dislike the button to test it whatever you don't believe me believe me, it doesn't matter i am an established channel therefore i'm in the algorithm regardless right all i have to do is put out content keep being truthful and, and honest you know what i mean as, as as a in terms of a host and then we good the work speaks for itself if there's 68 dislikers, we should have 68 interesting conversations to have. But we don't. We just have what they always do, drive-bys. And the funny thing is, I told you, as the as the leader of Ego's Army, as the general, I got y'all. I'm not out here trying to disappoint. I'm trying to hit our numbers, hit our goals, get to more events, and just ultimately grow and help grow the sport of boxing. That's it. The work speaks for itself. So I don't, I don't really too much worry about the other stuff not everyone's gonna like you I, I i learned that when i was a child you know what i mean some people don't like you for whatever reason so i'm good with that but again at the end of the day real recognizes real and I, the funny thing is how you gonna be mad at the motherfucker who told you what was to come I told I told you he wasn't fighting Wilder next. Boom, not fighting Wilder next. I told you there's inconsistency. Boom, you guys are telling me that at the DAZN pre press conference, he's getting grilled up with questioning. Red Tamer says, shut up, bro. You ramble on for no reason, laughing my ass off. But you're the only one laughing at your own joke. You saying shut up, bro, but you watching me. Why are you watching me? That's, that's all I want to know. Oh, Shooter already got you. Sorry. So sorry. I couldn't even talk to him because the Shooter just clapped him in the head. Now he did. Eagle will DAZN do well in America. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not actually psychic. It's not off to a good start, though. And a lot of it comes from transparency. And you need star power. Wilder called this a while ago at his brother's fight. I seen an interview with him when his brother got that knockout. His brother, I mean, Wilder said, good luck trying to sign American fighters because no one's going to want to sign to you with how this whole Joshua Wilder situation 
or he didn't say Wilder, but he was talking. He's like, how this whole situation with me and Joshua played out. People aren't going to forget that. You know, people aren't going to... Um, people aren't going to... I don't know. Just excuse that and just want to sign to you. You have to stand for something. You have to have principles, integrity. Like, people aren't going to just move because of money only. Someone said earn with earn. <laughs> And it's funny, Joshua said, oh, 50 mil, he said, whatever, 50 mil, um, I'm not trying to sell my soul, but if you feel that way, then other fighters feel that way. They see how this whole Joshua Wilder situation was handled, that, and they know where Eddie Hearn, like, with the contradictions and stuff, who who's going to, like, okay, Roseanne, we'll use that because everyone knows, well, not everyone, but most of you guys know what happened. Roseanne was in hot water. Let's say they didn't cancel her show. I don't want to join her sitcom when she's in hot water. That's not the best time. You know what I'm saying? That's like Sears is closing their stores. I don't want to get a job at Sears and, and knowing they're closing. Do you get what I'm saying? Sears is about to close in five to six months. It's already written. And then that's when you want to start working with them. No, you're going to try to get a job where you can at least have some longevity. So until Eddie Hearn... Um, makes things right putting on the fights that they want and stuff like that he's going to be hard pressed to get talent because nobody if somebody's being looking in a like shaky and in a bad light you're not going to be able to get the top notch fighters because if you're a top notch fighter you you it's like LeBron James LeBron James went to the Lakers because he wanted to go to the Lakers right because he's the man, so he can choose. He's the best player or one of the best players in the league. Top three, top two, top one, whatever you want to put him, right? So he can go wherever the fuck he wants. Remember how he said years ago when he left Cleveland, and he was like, oh, I'm taking my talents to South Beach? Because he can do that. So if you're a prime fighter, like you're doing well for yourself, Charlos, um, Adrian Broner makes noise, whoever, Errol Spence. That's why Errol keeps saying, I don't need no promoter. I don't need no promoter. Man down. He in Dominican Republic or something right now I've seen on his Snapchat. So you're going to be hard pressed to get those guys because they don't, they already have opportunities because they're, they're doing very well for themselves on their, so to lure them away from their current situation that's more established to disown, which is unproven, it, you, you need, you need some momentum. You know what I mean? And the people that he signed again no no disrespect to those fighters but a lot of those guys aren't coming with full throttle momentum who is wilder fighting next i don't know i'm not al Heyman. i don't know who's fighting next but my point is people people want to join something that's already moving like like look i could like i could speak for my channel when I was when I came from the mud and I first started the channel, I didn't have all these people. I got like like between the cuz this is the way YouTube works. <clears throat> Your amount of subscribers, you lose subscribers. People get their accounts closed, people get their accounts closed, people unsubscribe, people get blocked. So naturally every channel loses subscribers every month due to those primarily those three reasons. Unsubscribing, deleted dead channels, or um, whatever, you get blocked or whatever, right? I have over 5,000 new subscribers with that in consideration for this particular month, right? Over 5,000 subscribers, new subscribers, and it's already had, I've already had the amount of, that we've lost or been blocked or whatever subtracted for that, right? When I first started, that was not the case. I didn't have 5,000 plus 7,000 every single month coming in because I was a new channel. You guys get what I'm talking about? So what I'm saying is people support you when you're already doing well for yourself, more so than support something that's unproven, right? I have friends or like, I wouldn't even say like close friends, but more acquaintances. When I first started this YouTube shit, they didn't understand it. They didn't see the vision. They didn't see it going anywhere. Like, oh, what are you trying to be a YouTuber? But now that we've made it, you know what I'm saying? And they see me traveling, 
see me covering fights full time and doing what I want and being my own boss, having a small business. Now, all of a sudden they get it. But where were they when I needed that from the beginning when I needed people to support me? That's how this game works. <clears throat> so similarly, the zone, they have to they have to get people who are popular and doing very well to spearhead a vehicle that's brand new like the zone and so far they haven't been able to do that jesse vargas top rank didn't even re-sign him and then he went to al Heyman. you know so he was with mayweather promotion then he was with top rank for a while then he was did some fights with al Heyman, and now he's on his he's on this particular so Jesse Vargas has been someone who's kind of bounced around from promoters trying to get in where he fits in, trying to look for the best deals and the best fights. Cool. Right? Demetrius Andre, also in activity promo promotional issues where he hasn't been buzzing. <coughs> right? Great fighter, but hasn't really been buzzing. Daniel Roman. He just went the distance with Moises Flores. Not really a well-known commodity in the States. Right, Maurice Hooker just got a title and got a DUI, still not a, a household name. So, DeZone with this early lineup, they don't have anyone that's already like doing numbers. Remember when, when Jay said, Only dudes moving units, M, Pimp Juice, and us. Pimp Juice was Nelly, M is Eminem, and he was talking about Rockefeller, him and Rockefeller. Only dudes moving numbers M, Pimp, Juice, and us, right? Meaning they were all doing platinum selling plus record, record sales at the time. So to me, the zone, they need more than that. They need, they need somebody who has a lot of momentum that were like, Errol Spence. Terrence Crawford, those two guys are people that I'm really interested in whoever they fight because I think they have all the skills and talent in the world and I like their fighting style, I like what they bring to the table, I like their demeanor, right? So, if you put Errol Spence on zone, I would have to get it because I'm really anxious to see who they fight and see how they progress and I know there's a plethora of fights that Errol Spence or Crawford can matchups that they can make in the future wilder that's why eddie hearn went after mikey garcia see okay bottom line is this the top names like i'm just gonna i, I just gotta say it flat out the top names that eddie hearn went after that had what i'm talking about the popularity or the mouthpiece and the, and the ability to sell tickets that was doing numbers None of them signed. That's that's the best way to put it. Mikey Garcia, he had, at this moment, he hasn't signed and he has a big fight on Showtime with Al Heyman. That would have been a great person to pick up. Charlo 1 and Charlo 2, Jamal and Jamel, they didn't at the moment sign. Those would have been great pickups based on what they've done in their career. Deontay Wilder said, fuck that, I'm not signing. That would have been a great pickup, right? Obviously, Errol Spence would have been a great pickup, right? Uh, a guy like Lomachenko or Terrence Crawford, these, if they didn't have promotional contract, those would be good people because they're already established enough and you could just build from that, right? That's my whole point. So the biggest people that DAZN, to my knowledge, uh, outside of AJ, who's already in the matchroom building, the biggest names did not go with DAZN. That's the problem. The biggest names who are already ready made, like, it's like, it's like a meal prep. Oh my gosh, king of a, listen, I gotta, I'm the king of analogies. Y'all just gotta give it up. If y'all want this latest analogy, can I get a hell yeah in the comment section? I said, can I get a hell yeah in the comment section? Listen, I got a good, I got a good analogy to help y'all put this in perspective. Smash the like button, we working. I know the haters, man, but we working still. I need some hell yeahs. We got to motivate. I need to see the chat jumping a little bit more. Let's go. Eric713, get the fuck out of here then. If you don't want to hear it, then leave. It's that simple. 
you're not wanted. All right, here, here's the analogy. It's like meal prep. Mikey Garcia, Errol Spence, the Charlo brothers, Deontay Wilder, right? Adrian Broner. These guys are meal prepped, meaning the hard work is already done. The meal, the meat is cooked. You have your sides and it's already seasoned. It's ready to go. All you have to do is simply heat it up versus Maurice Hooker, Demetrius Andrade, Daniel Roman, Jesse Vargas. They are not meal preps, good fighters, but they're not meal preps in the sense of you still have to season them, right? Like Maurice Hooker, he got a champion, but he's not ready made. He's still, you know what I mean? He just got in trouble with the law, different stuff like that, right? Demetrius Andrade, you got to get him back on the track where people are, are talking about him. So these are still meals that are in the process of being cooked they're not ready made where you just have to pop it in the microwave and the hard work and the labor is already done bars king of analogies to me the zone what they need is a ready made somebody who's just ready to go adrian broner ready to go you know what he's good at you know what he's bad at you know he can sell you know he he'll hype up events you know what you're getting mikey garcia right Mikey Garcia, he's already ready to go. We watched him become a four-division champion. We know he's good. We know he got the killer one, too. We know his brother. Ready to go. He gets a lot of pub and exposure with ES News. That's the difference. And from the names that were announced, a lot of these guys aren't ready-made. Some of them are champions. Like Maurice Hooker just became a champion, but he's not a household name champion. Jesse Vargas coming off a draw. Gerald Miller still hasn't fought for a title yet. He hasn't had the big fight. He's still getting to fight like people that Joshua or Wilder or Povetkin or something have um, beaten already. This is what I'm talking about. The zone needs a ready-made star. And again, to get those ready-made stars, one, they have to be free agents to the point where they can sign a promotional deal. So the zone has work to do on top of the platform itself being new. The platform itself is new. On top of the fighters that were announced, you still have to build them to become household names. That's what we're getting at. There's other guys that are pretty much, at least for boxing standards, household names. None of the people that I heard that are signed are currently that. With momentum. Big Baby Miller could sell tickets, okay, but he's still on co-main event. He's been on Jacobs' undercard as a co-main event, so he's not even main eventing, right? So he has to get to that level. He has to have the names to get him to that level. So the thing is, who, who did, like, okay, who Eddie Hearn worked with uh, Miller the last two fights? That's not going to cut it for a charging app, an app that's $9.99 a month. You're not going to be able to put Gerald Miller in there with Marish Weck, who got knocked out by Povetkin in the 12th round. Bars off the top of my head. I think Klitschko knocked him out. I know Klitschko beat him, right? That's not going to be enough to entice, from my view, people to want. Now, if you put him in there, Dillian White, Gerald Miller, okay, that's good. Or the Joseph Parker, Dillian White winner, or Luis Ortiz. Now we're talking because these are fights that could get him to the title shot, get him to the next level. But if you're putting matches like that, Amir Khan, Samuel Vargas type matches, that's not going to work. And see, the thing with Eddie Hearn, and I'm not, this is no disrespect to the UK, but I'm going to just call a spade a spade. The UK, based on the demographic, they could get away because their fans are loyal and there's not as much like sporting events and, and things competing like NBA, MLB, NHL, whatever, NFL they can get away with subpar matchmaking and it works over there. Like you could put Josh Kelly versus Carlos Molina and damn near be a co-main event or main event or some shit. And you'll have a, a decent crowd or a good crowd, right? You could put Daniel Dubois versus somebody is not really popping in the heavyweight division, but put Anthony Yard on the card against, again, someone else, not like a Kovalev, not like a Donis, not like this guy, not like Joe Smith Jr. Even 
and it'll do a cool crowd you know what i mean or or whatever or you charge pay-per-view for it america is totally different you can't do that out here you know like people complain floyd when he fought Berto or robert grail some people might have even complained you get what i'm saying so you which the matchmaking that you do in the uk is not the same it's not the same as the usa you can't put like gerald miller versus marriage weck main event and expect a, a sold out crowd you know what i mean like joshua fighting carlos tackham if you put that anywhere in america it ain't doing seventy thousand. it's not even gonna do twenty thousand. do you get what i'm saying who be- okay who believes <laughs> listen who believes that anthony joshua versus carlos tackham would do 20,000 seats in America. Does anybody? What, how would a fight like that do in America? Exactly. The fans, they tell you what it is. It's not you, you wouldn't be able to sell that I listen I went to Golovkin versus Jacobs It was packed It was like 19,000 people in there It was 19,000 people in there And that was a really good fight People were anticipating and, the, and it showed Because it was packed So there's no way You would be able to get You would have to put <laughs> AJ versus Tackham At the stub hub You know what I mean That holds like 9,000 because Americans ain't going to be like, yeah, for that. I don't think it would do 15,000 out here. Again, it's different. Different market, different everything. You can't put Daniel DeBall, Anthony Joshua, and Sam Sexton, or uh, what's the name? Um, what's the dude? What's the dude? Something spunk? Or some shit. What the fuck is his name? Spunk or something. Oh my god. Well, I'm I'm drawing a blank. He's a tall guy. He, he wanted to fight Amir Khan. And I was like, man, I'm not oh fuck, what is it? This is bothering me now. He's the he's like a really tall, like welterweight. And he just lost. And his name is suspect. No, 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 no. It's not O'Sullivan. He's like English or whatever. Bradley Skeet. Yes, exactly. Super Skeet. Yeah, no, no. Super Skeet. That's it. Shout out to who did that? Who said that? Thank you. Shout out to Z. Yeah, Bradley Skeet. He ain't... You can't put him in it. <laughs> hey, Bradley Skeet. Super Skeet. You can't just put him on no card. and going to do numbers. So, it's a whole different market. That's That's all I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Uh, Dillian White versus Derek Chisora. It was solid. Like, the fight was itself was good. But a fight like that in America wouldn't... I don't feel like it would be... Have the, the same attention in America. Do you got... Like, if you if you took where Derek Chisora was in his career and you get a guy like that and, in the, and where Dillian White was in his career, I don't think it's going to draw the same eyes. You know what I mean? Chris Eubank versus... Uh, Raynald Quinlan, that's that type of stuff. You you're not gonna be able to do no crazy numbers like that. You know what I mean? So that's just what it is. Anyway, I'm about to get out of here. I got some stuff to do, but it's like I said, I I told you guys this was coming though. People aren't falling for it. Like Eddie Hearn doing them quaint interviews and stuff. Y'all could be mad as you want, but you know it's real. In your heart, you know it's real. Doing these little quaint interviews. But what happens when you get around the media you can't control? Media that have their own questions. And they're not going to be like, oh, cut that out. And stuff like that. You don't see, like, Eddie Hearn, he doesn't have, like, a relationship with every single U.S. um, media. You know what I mean? Some of the YouTube channels or whoever. So, if you say something incriminating, you can't just text them and be like, hey, cut that part out. I didn't mean to say that. They're not going to cut it out. They're going to use it for views. So, I'm telling you, different ball games. And, and the thing is, you don't want to dece- deceive the public. You 
Yeah, Povetkin played it cool. He was in his little Meldonian suit. And then when Joshua and uh, AJ was, AJ and uh, Miller were going at it, he was just like, just watching it. The black channels, why do they always fight? It's not like we're at a barbecue and there's only one hot link left. Why do the black, <laughs> the black channels? Man, we're going to see what happens. Who's getting the zone? $9.99 a month after a one month free trial. If you plan on buying it from what you've heard from the DAZN, can I get a hell yeah? If you plan on getting DAZN $9.99 a month and you think you're going to be a subscriber, can I get a hell yeah? If not, say hell nah. Say hell no. Nah. If you say, if you think you're going to get it, say hell yes. Let's just vote before I get out of here. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> the black channel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Damn, y'all going ham. See? <laughs> Whatever. You, see, they try to target me. The motherfuckers talking about I can't come to UK. I'm going to be in the UK. Trust me. I'm going to get my passport. I'm glad someone said whatever they said. I'll be in the UK, so expect that. I'm going to be in the UK like Briggs. Yeah, I said yeah. You know what I mean? I don't go to no, nobody's community disrespecting. But I, I'm coming to the UK. Book it. It has to be the right fight, but I'll come. You know what I'm saying? Real recognize the real. Shit, I probably got more fans in the UK than some of the UK channels. Fuck you, me. See, Alfonso said, I'm already paying for Showtime, HBO, and ESPN+. Plus. They got me fucked up. <laughs> hey, Juan's a fool. See, we the army. He said, I'm going with you. I want to smoke. Yeah, someone's saying I can't come to the UK. Okay. I'll be in the UK. Book it. Book it. I will come to the UK. I'll be at the UK. But again, it has to be worth the trip. Like, so a good next... A good fight, you know what I mean? And I'm going to vlog it, too. I'm going to vlog when I'm out there. What, what, what you, what, like, what, what's going to happen? I'm going to go out there. Yeah. I hate your videos. I hate your view on boxing. Come on. Put them up. Like, what? what? Like, these dudes, man, there's some internet shit. What you going to, like, what you going to do? What you going to say? Why'd you why'd you say that truthful thing about Eddie Hearn? Huh. Like, w w like I used to live in the UK. I'm shit. UK is my second home. I'm coming back. Your boy coming back home. I'm coming back home. The fuck? The black channels. Come on. Uh, uh, like what? The fuck? Who gonna call me a shit house? For what? What do I do? Cause you don't like my opinion, but you can't back it up in the hot seat. Let's go, man. Shout out to all the boxing fans. Shout out to the UK, USA, the zone. You gotta do something, baby. You gotta do something, baby. See, everybody wanna do that internet slick talk. I'm not really with the talk. Ain't nothing to talk about. Make a good fight, I'll come out there. You know, and, and be with the fans. The real fans. Not none of this bullshit. Because they don't... The, the fans that I'm talking about, they propagate bullshit. And, like, they're not proving it wrong. Eddie Hearn said on tape, we wanted the Wilder Joshua fight in September at Wembley. Two things that can't happen. What would you be mad at me for when he said that? Please let me know. Like, what would you, what would you be mad at me for? When they said it. So yeah, the DAZN press conference. I like the the way Eddie Hearn said it, I really felt I really felt he was gonna like try like come and kill the game. The way he was making it, he's like, Oh, Americans are gonna be so mad at me. I'm I'm gonna be public enemy number one. Nobody's tripping off you. Golden Boy don't even have that big of a, a stable right now. And I can't picture Oscar De La Hoya being like, hey, 
I heard the zones coming to town. Like, why would Oscar be worried? He got Canelo. He got Canelo. Like, who who is what American broadcaster or promoter or advisor will be shaking in their boots right now? Because DeZone signed Daniel Roman. Like, like honestly, who like why would okay? Let let's just play a game. Let's play a game. Uh, fuck it, I was gonna get off, but I'm gonna play this game first. Y'all wanna play a game? If y'all wanna play a game, if y'all wanna play a game, can I get a hell yeah in the comment section? We gonna play this game before I get up out of here. I need a hell yeah. If y'all want to play this game, we're going to play. Okay. All right. The game is simple. The rules are simple. I'm going to go through the list, the list of names that the DAZN initially comes out with. You tell me the biggest, listen, tell me the biggest fight that that fighter can have that is realistic. That's realistic. So I'm talking about there's not no major Cold War promotional beefs where Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn or Bob Aaron won't give his guy. Like where you don't, you think it could easily be made. You name the biggest fight for them and we'll see how, who got the biggest matches. Jesse Vargas was announced. What's the biggest fight out there for Jesse Vargas that's a blockbuster fight? To, and you got, in your opinion. I just want to know from the fans, and we're going to go through the list. What's the biggest fight out there for him? Broner 2. Pacquiao, he already lost to Pacquiao. Why? Who, who's going to pay for that? When pa he already, Pacquiao already beat him. <laughs> Sammy Basket. Y'all tripping. Errol Spence, that so y'all want to see Errol Spence in in him? Broner too. I'm seeing a lot of Broner too. So either way, you have to go through Al Heyman because the biggest names I'm seeing is Errol Spence and Broner too. So that means you have to go through Al Heyman. Okay, moving on. Demetrius Andre, what's the biggest person that he could fight that's realistic? Demetrius Andre. Billy Joe Saunders. Charlo. Okay, so you have to go through Al Heyman to get the Charlo fight. Okay. Billy Joe Saunders. He's with Frank Warren, somebody that Eddie Hearn detests, or they don't get along. So with, maybe with the mandatory, with the WBO calling for the fight, maybe it happens. But the other option, Charlo, you got to go through, you got to go through, Al Heyman. Daniel Roman. What's the biggest fight he can fight? Jaime Mugia, they're not in the same division. Daniel Roman. <laughs> hey, Frank is out of pocket. Daniel Roman versus Janitor. Hey, y'all tripping. <laughs> The air, <laughs> hey y'all, wild. See, y'all don't even know who he is. That's why y'all just putting jokes. A unification with Dogbo, that's solid, but Dogbo's with Top Rank, so Top Rank got their own thing on ESPN. So are they gonna come and fight on the zone? So I don't know if that's a possibility. All right, y'all don't really know who he is, so I'm gonna skip Maurice Hooker. What's the biggest fight out for Maurice Hooker? He beat Flanagan. Charlie Zeland off. See, y'all playing games because y'all y'all can't answer this. <laughs> so is that Charlie Zeland off? Rigging down and Maurice Hooker are not in the same division. I'm 
See, look, y'all don't have no answer. Okay, Arter better be a. Who can he fight on his own? What's the best fight for? <laughs> so, <laughs> so it said Boston George. I'm done. I'm done. So it said Boston George. That's the one that the, was rumored to have got into it with Broner. Hey, y'all tripping. <laughs> y'all t hey, I'm out. Hey, I, that you killed it. So whoever said that, Scott, you killed the chat. I'm out. I'm out. That man said Boston George. <laughs> Hey, I'm out. I can't even deal with this. Kovalev. Yeah, that'd be a great rematch, but main events would have to want to... They doing fights on Facebook with Golden Boy. So, I don't know if they could come to the zone or what. I don't know. They might want to put the shit on Facebook with uh, Mark Zuckerberg. I don't know. So, again, I, I don't... I, I Aside from the names... I don't know how some of these fights are going to happen. I don't know if everyone's free agent. There's just a lot of stuff. Someone said Ryu. All right, I'm done. Y'all, <laughs> yeah. Someone said he need to fight Ryu. I'm done. Hadouken! <laughs> I'm done. Peace out. Somebody said Boston George and Ryu. Stop the Hadouken! I'm done. <laughs> Later, guys. Smash the like button.